From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. You may want to keep an umbrella handy today. There could be some rain in the area from that tropical system passing to the south of us. It's headed for the west coast of Florida over the weekend. Not a major situation for us. Ministry of Health officials bracing for more of what happened yesterday. Close to 150 persons called in sick significantly impacting health care systems in the capital and Grand Bahama. They're apparently upset that they were not given payment for their involvement in the COVID-19 response. No official reaction from health officials yet. With 128,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine now here, Prime Minister Minutes believes the government has secured enough vaccine for the entire country, and he's making this call. What we need now is Bahamians to come forward quickly to take the vaccines as soon as possible to save lives in the country. You do not have any time to wait any longer. You do not have time to keep thinking about it. Sadly, some of our people are dying and taking the shots will save your life. The Pfizer's a gift from the U.S. government. Its rollout expected to begin next week. More AstraZeneca has already been secured and the Johnson & Johnson shot expected to be available by the end of the month. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. An 83-year-old New Providence woman is the latest person to die from the coronavirus, her death taking the total to 311 now. The Ministry of Health reporting another 130 confirmed cases for Wednesday. Hospitals are basically full with double-digit numbers in the ICU. Attorney General Carl Bethel tells the media they're going to move as early as today to get information on those COVID-19 government contracts being discussed in public, the ownership of the companies involved being questioned. Education officials say they're still in talks on how to reopen schools for the fall term because of the increased coronavirus numbers. 39-year-old Grand Bahama school teacher Valentine Munnings arraigned on sex with a minor charges in court there. In the capital, 58-year-old Ernest Thompson charged with raping a 36-year-old woman. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Weather associated with our tropical system to the south in the area today. It'll turn mostly cloudy. There'll be rain in the area. Highs in the mid-80s. 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. Advisories are up for boaters. Winds getting up to 25 knots. The sea's up to 8 feet over open waters. Low tide now. The next high around 2 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies expected tonight. Showers will be around Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. This is the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break. From the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines the world watching as the Taliban militant group begins to take over Afghanistan following the withdrawal of U.S. troops. They have now claimed 11 provincial capitals. Officials fear the capital city of Kabul will not last long. The U.S. is sending 3,000 troops there to help evacuate the embassy. Major coronavirus concerns in the U.S. as cases soar and the fight over mask mandates continues. Major increases in the states of Texas and Florida driven by the Delta variant Health officials in the U.S. very concerned. Algerian government officials say those wildfires burning there were arson. They've arrested a number of persons. More than 60 persons have died in those fires so far. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 513, SO 524, Rubus $5.28 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Total coverage of the arrival of the Olympic Games team. Plenty of pictures of Sean Ney and Steve Gardner on their gold medals. Read about it. 
Get the latest on Major League Baseball. Jazz on the Marlins off last night. They open a series against the Cubs tonight at home. The latest on Kai Jones in the NBA and the NFL preseason is here. Find out who won the Steelers-Eagles game yesterday. All in the Tribune Sports Friday. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 